Hey guys, this is Randy. Uh, I've had a few questions uh, recently on how the uh, new subscription service will go uh, as far as uh, enrolling, how to sign up, and I'll go through that here real quick in this video. It'll be a pretty uh, seamless process. Uh, what will happen is anytime on or after this Sunday, April 3rd, as I mentioned, I'll be out of town this weekend, so I kicked the, uh, the, the rollout date back just a few days since I'm not going to be posting anything. No reason to have you sign up and uh, and start start your billing period before then. So I'll be back Sunday uh, Sunday afternoon and should have some content up Sunday night. So what will happen is you'll have access up until then. And then any time on or after uh, Sunday, uh, the first time you click in, instead of being directed to the new login page for members, which you may have noticed today, it used to take you straight to the trading room. Now you go to a login welcome page and you can link over to the trading room or wherever you want. Uh, so come... Come Sunday, when you click login, you know, I have a dummy account here I created, uh, go ahead and log in and you'll notice that you'll be redirected uh, to this page. Let's cancel that out. And it'll state that you've been redirected because your free trial period is, has expired. So for those of you that have signed up when the trading room and registration was first opened up on the site back in uh, the you know fall of 2015, uh, it was essentially an extended three week or an extended trial period, I should say. And so those, you know, those those people will uh, have had their three weeks and then some anybody who signed up within the last three weeks will still have three weeks from your start date. In other words, if you signed up a week ago, you still have another two weeks. Uh, the system tagged your start date and added three weeks onto that. So at the end of three weeks, you'll have the option to uh, join the site if you want to use the premium content or continue to you know use the free free content that's out there. Um, again, that's been posted in this uh, pricing matrix here. The free content, everything that will still be free without registration required, uh, is listed there. So you can take a look at that. I won't won't spend time going through here. But when you come in uh, again, the first time that you register on or after Sunday, you'll see the coupon code will remain up top. This is good through the month of April. And you'll have the option, if you decide to join, to either pick a silver or gold membership. Um, obviously, with the pricing, especially with the 50% off, the gold is, in my opinion, a much better value. Um, but there are some of you that don't want the trading room. You just want the trade ideas. That's what the silver membership is going to do for you and save you a few bucks. So uh, we'll click gold membership here. The coupon will once again be at the top. It's not hard to forget 50% off I believe that's cap sensitive so just go ahead and type it just as you see 50% off no spaces in there and you'll see you have an option of your terms whether you select the gold which I'm at now the silver membership will have a silver background or silverish on the page that's goldish a little light but uh, and there's your terms so obviously you can pick a monthly quarterly or semi-annual in the the longer the term, the better the savings. So we'll go ahead here, leave it at semi-annual, which is the default. I'll type in the coupon code, 50% off. I'll apply that coupon code. And now you'll see that it, the discount has been applied. And so now it's only 89.50 for six month membership. Uh, for those of you who have donated, I'll get those uh, vouchers out. As I mentioned, I'll be matching uh, dollar for dollar all the contributions. And um, I believe you can use both the 50% off and the contribution, uh, the, the matching or your credit, I should say, from your contributions that supported the site, uh, including the match. Um, but what I'll also do is send out a 50% off that you can use later on if you want to just apply your uh, the the, the uh, vouchers that you have, the credit vouchers, you want to use that first. Uh, I know for some of you there's going to essentially be a, a lifetime membership. You know, the rates are so low compared to what your contributions were that it'll carry you for many, many years. So thank you for that. And uh, again, you can enter your code here that I'm sending these are gift code coupon code redemption codes i'm not a biggie on coupons and all that stuff so i'm doing this now as an introductory rate but uh, um, i don't expect to throw rates out there all the time i just wanted to mention that's where you do if you have any credits uh, or this initial coupon code that's where you enter that all right moving on uh, let's see don't log in all right, the, some of you that have registered, uh, been registered for a while, there there was an option to put a first and last name when you registered early on. It was optional. 
The only thing required for the free trial is an email address. That's to confirm uh, your registration as well as to send out your password uh, uh, password reset button, not reset, your choose your password, the link to verify and choose your password, and of course your username. Now all that will remain the same. If you've been a free trial member, which you are if you've come to this page, you already have a username. All your settings, your email settings, notification settings, any posts that you've made in the trading room, those will remain under your username. This will already be pre-populated. You shouldn't have to enter this information. If you do, if you have any questions, obviously just contact me and I'll, I'll get that straightened out. Your email address should also populate here. This will give you a confirmation uh, of your uh, subscription purchase um, or whatever else. So just make sure that's a valid email address that I can reach you at. Um, and that's it. It'll auto populate. Again, you have to put your first and last name here at this point only for the credit card processing company. They need to know if you're making a purchase, who you are. As anytime you make a purchase, they need to confirm your name matches the name on the credit card. So go ahead and enter that and click add billing method. As I mentioned at this time, uh, we're taking credit cards, uh, just at just about any credit card anywhere around the world will work. You don't have to select the card type. It's very easy. Just go here to uh, card number and let me find a dummy card number here. Give me just one second. Here we go. All right. So here we go. 4242, 4242, I wouldn't try to take that card number and go to Best Buy and get the latest 4K 70-inch TV because this is, uh, like I said, a dummy credit card number. It won't work. Okay. I'll pick any date. Uh, 419 and any CCV. 555. Okay. That's it. You don't have to click remember me. Uh, I don't see any reason. Um, I do want to point out this window that pops up. Stripe is a credit card processing company. It works similar to a PayPal or any other online processor. Um, this window, I believe the term is an iframe. This pop-up window, although it's coming up on my site, is not part of right side of the chart. It's a, a very secure window that, that opens up, and it's a gateway directly to Stripe. Um, none of the credit card information that you provide, it either it doesn't run through my site, it's not stored on the site. If I wanted to, I could not access this, this information. It's simply a processing thing. It goes to the company. Once your credit card has been processed and uh, the payment's confirmed, something comes back to the website, says this person has paid, and then it activates your membership. So I just want to let you know I'm really big on security, and I wanted to be clear that this information is not stored on the site. Um, so go ahead and enter your credit card. And as you saw, I entered the Visa number there. If you put a MasterCard, American Express, Discover, it doesn't matter. It'll populate. You don't have to select the card type. So pretty simple. That's it. And what did I do wrong? Let's see. 4242. Oh, missed a couple numbers. There we go. And, of course, it knew it was a Visa by the uh, first few numbers. They're all different. So it's processing the payment now. And again, I'm in test mode here. Worked a lot quicker on the uh, previous attempts, but again, okay, there it is. It's verified. That's it. So uh, the payment method has been verified, but it still hasn't, you know, billed yet. You have to, at this point, just hit submit form. It just has your payment method there. And again, I don't see any reason to say payment options. It this it is recurring billing, so it has that credit card number, and in this case, it'll bill out that card every six months. Um, and I'll get to something here in just one second as far as changing your credit card number or canceling the membership. So uh, just click submit form, and there it is. Thank you. Your account has been updated. And it now has a six-month membership term, so I have full access to all the content on the site as a gold member. Uh, there's something I've added today, and I'll post this on the front page as well. Uh, I've updated the FAQ section and added a new section right here, membership. When you come into the FAQ page, the default is all frequently asked questions, but uh, click on membership here. And here's the most common ones. How do I sign up as a premium member, which I just went over, update or change your credit card billing information. If your credit card expires and you have a new date or you want to change cards, canceling your membership, um, what payment options. On the payment options, guys, I, I at this point, I've decided to go with Stripe. Uh, there are a lot of other options out there. If I have enough feedback uh, that um, 
people want to use PayPal or Apple Pay or any of these other services, I can add those and I will add those uh, again if the demand is there. I'm trying to keep things relatively simple and straightforward right now. Um, and I understand some people don't like using credit cards online, so there's no problem. Use a contact form up here under resources, contact, if you'd prefer to uh, mail a check. And I'll give you the instructions on you know how to make the check out and where to send that. Uh, that's about it. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, just reach out and uh, contact me on the via the contact form. Again, located here under resources, contact us, or in the uh, trading room via private message. Okay, guys, this has been Randy with Right Side of the Chart.